Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. In today's episode of Nostalgic Homes Ion Design, we are going to be talking about planting trees, privacy, and reducing visual height. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video if you enjoy our content and want to see more. Let's get into the video. Hi, Matthew here from Nostalgic Homes and I'm with Ion Design. I want to talk about landscaping. The rear of this house faces west, so there's a lot of direct sun on the back of this house. One of the first things the homeowners did was they planted this deciduous tree here. When this tree grows up, it'll provide nice summer shade to this house. In the winter, the leaves will fall off, provide nice solar gain to the back of the house. One of the challenges with this site was the cul-de-sac location. We are very limited with privacy, so what we did is when we built this, we kept as many of the mature trees as we could. What we wanted to do was ensure that, you know, once this house was built, we had some privacy. It takes 30 years to grow trees like these, and it takes 30 minutes to cut them down. So what we did is we kept a lot of these trees as a buffer, and then where these trees, there was an opening in the trees, we actually built a privacy screen, but we built it in a bit of a gate as well, so you can open it up to get access to the rear yard. One of the great things about living in the country is obviously the social distance. One of the pet peeves I have about it is if you needed a raised septic bed like you do here. What we did is we created a huge lawn garden, and what that does is it actually takes away the visual mass from the bed. So it looks like you, know, you have this nice long feature with nice garden, nice perennials, nice annuals. And sort of, you can't even see that the septic is behind it. Like I said, this lot on Burnside Drive was a cul-de-sac lot. And that elevation level between here and the cul-de-sac was almost six feet. So what we did is we brought in all of these nice big large rocks, built a bit of a natural retaining wall here, planted some shrubbery along the top of it, it actually lessens the impact when you're down on the cul-de-sac looking up into the yard. 